While the fantastic optical image stabilization has been around for a while on the Nokia Lumia 920 and 928 on AT&T and Verizon, it's finally T-Mobile's turn to get a nice high-end Windows phone. This is Adam Lane from Pocket Now, and this is our full review of the T-Mobile version of the Nokia Lumia 925. Let's check it out. Let's start with the specs. It's got a Qualcomm Snapdragon MSM 8960 dual-core 1.5 GHz processor with 1 GB of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. The front facing camera has a resolution of 1.2 megapixels and the rear camera has 8.7 megapixels with 1080p HD video recording and optical image stabilization. 4.5 inch pure motion HD plus clear black AMOLED screen features a 768 by 1280 pixel resolution. We've also got Bluetooth 3.1, Wi-Fi, assisted GPS and NFC. The handset's weight is 135 grams and thickness is 8.5 millimeters. Hiring it all is a 2000 milliamp per hour battery, which is non-removable. Key wireless charging is not built in either, so you'll need an attachment to add that. Let's take a closer look at the hardware. The design of the Nokia Lumia 925 has made a pretty big departure from the older Nokia Lumia 800, 900, 920, and 928. No longer is the body a single polycarbonate shape with flat ends at the top and bottom, nor is the camera flush with the body. Instead, the Lumia 925 is a completely new design with an aluminum rim all around the edges. These metal pieces are the antennae, but in practice the reception seems a bit weaker than previous Nokia Lumia phones on T-Mobile. In the hand, the Nokia Lumia 925 feels very thin. The rounded metal edges are actually a bit too thin and slippery. To fix this, I added the wireless charging shell which added some thickness, as well as increased the grip area for a more comfortable fold. The wireless charging shell covers the back and corners of the device, giving a bit more protection to the corners, which could be very susceptible to dings when dropped. On the other hand, the extra thin profile makes the phone very comfortable in the pocket. Now let's talk about the software. Most of our Windows Phone 8 coverage can already be found in our full Windows Phone 8 review. And we've covered many of the Nokia customizations in our review of the international version as well. However, there are a few differences in the T-Mobile version which we'll look at here. The T-Mobile edition that's probably the most useful is the Wi-Fi calling feature. This lets you connect to T-Mobile's network using your own Wi-Fi infrastructure as opposed to depending on the cell towers. That means you can make phone calls and send text messages from areas with no reception at all. Unfortunately, the reliability can be a bit lacking so I would keep this feature turned off when not needed. If you do use it, be sure to make the Wi-Fi calling live tile on your start screen the full width size so that you can see the area messages. The My Account app is good to keep around for tracking your usage. Though the live tile no longer shows data usage, which is the only aspect of T-Mobile accounts that isn't unlimited these days, you'll have to dig into the app to find that. Next, let's look at the camera. The Lumia 925 is for the most part the same camera as the innovative Lumia 920 that's already been available on AT&T for quite a while. There are a few minor improvements, but for the most part the 925 is simply bringing Nokia's optical image stabilization and 8.7 megapixel camera to T-Mobile in the US. The image stabilization makes video recording movements much less shaky and harsh. You can see the exposure changes are smooth and autofocus works very well in the brighter areas, but understandably not as well in low light. Audio recording quality is pretty impressive as well. In terms of battery life, I found the Lumia 925 to be satisfactory. That is to say, after I got the Wi-Fi calling set up correctly. Before I did that, the battery was dying very quickly. Of course, the battery life depends on what apps you're using and all the options you may have turned on or off, but for the most part, I've been able to get through about eight to 10 hours without issue. That should do okay for a device that doesn't have a removable battery. After buying a wireless charging shell, I've become much less worried about battery life since it recharges every time I set the phone down. Still, for those long weekends in the wilderness, I wish I could keep a spare battery in my wallet. Our final rating is going to be an 8.3 out of 10. The hardware, the metallic design, the screen, the camera, the sound quality, the video stabilization, and Nokia's custom apps are all extremely impressive. The only negatives for me are really the lack of user replaceable battery and excessive thinness. Everything else on this phone is top notch. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and thanks for watching.